Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel DLE Classes. Hope you are all fine and enjoyed my earlier videos. Today I have chosen the topic code review in software engineering for the discussion. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So what is code review? Code review is a cost-effective approach to increase the quality of the product development. It is carried out for a module after the module is successfully compiled and all the syntax error have been eliminated. Now what is the objective or goal of the code review? The goals of the code review is to reduce the coding errors, production of better and higher quality software, finding better solutions for a software product development strategies. Now this means when you do coding uh, code review properly then if a particular solution for a particular software product development strategy fails then you can choose or find out alternative solutions for the particular development process now when you are talking about a code review there are different types or different classes of uh, different uh, scope of uh, code review techniques but overall the code review techniques can be classified into two types the first one is known as the code walkthrough and second technique is known as code inspection code walkthrough is an informal technique so what is code walkthrough code walkthrough is an informal code analysis analysis technique in which a module is considered for review after it has been coded compiled successfully and all syntax error has been eliminated the main objective of the code walkthrough are to discover the algorithmic and logical errors in the code. Now what is algorithmic errors? Algorithmic errors means suppose you have designed a particular algorithm A for doing a particular task B, then if you are not intending, uh, you have intended to obtain the goal B but you are not achieving, then there is no syntax error but your output is not coming, then it is an algorithmic error. Now what is logical error? Let us take one particular example. In the picture, you see that there is a variable called i, and your intention is to print values of i from 0 to less than 3. But by mistake, you printed a semicolon after the follow, then you are not intending the output. So it's one type of logical errors. Now, although code workflow is an informal technique, the different guidelines have been proposed uh, for doing the code workflow. Now what are the different guidelines? The team performing code workflows should not be either too big or too small. Ideally, it should consist of between 3 to 7 members. Then discussion should focus on discovery of errors and not how to fix the discovery errors. So it should be very clear. In order to in encourage cooperation and to avoid the feeling among engineers that they have been evaluated in the code work meeting, the manager should not attend the code work meetings. So that's why it is known as an informal technique. Now what is code inspection? It's a formal technique. We all know this. Code inspection is a formal code analysis technique. During code inspection, the code is examined for the presence of certain kinds of errors. Now what are the different types of errors? Those are known as the classical errors. Now, some of the classical programming errors are use of uninitialized variable. For example, you see you have used a particular variable i and that variable is not declared. So it is one kind of uninitialized variable errors. Jumps into loops. You see in the picture design a particular program and by mistake you have continued the loop then you are not getting the outputs now non terminating loops it can be another errors in the picture you see that you have uh, uh, declared a particular for loop and it is not terminating so it's a, it's an, a wild kind of loop never ending then incompatible assignments uh, suppose we have there is a variable called i you have assigned the value of uh, 
A is a character arrow, uh, character array, hello, anywhere assigning value of integer to character. So it's a problem. Another error, or classical error, is this array indices out of bounds. So sometimes this type of errors can be done, can be happen. Then some other remaining classical errors are just like uh, improper storage allocation and deallocation mismatches between actual and formal parameter in the procedure call for example here is a function called void sum you have given a parameter called integer but when you're calling you have given two parameters of integer type so it's a parameter mismatching progress another errors can be use of incorrect logical operators or incorrect precedence among the operators for example suppose uh, in your intention is that um, um, there should be an end operator between A and B in the picture but you have by mistake one M person symbol is given so it's just like B to S or end operator so it's a problem so it's an error so it's a not intentional actually There's another kind of error is improper modification of loop variables so it's, it is also one type of uh, classical errors for example uh, you have in the picture you have seen that Value say in is i i is equal to one two four right if susan that the uh, improper modification is done your intention is to print the values from one to ten continuous but by mistake or by unintentionally you have given two increments so uh, you are not getting the output so it is not actually syntax errors but it's improper modification of the low variables so another classical error may be comparison of equality of floating point variables for example Suppose there is a variable float a variable 3.4 values. There is another variable double b equal to 3.4. Although the values are floating point are they are same, but when you're comparing it is saying that they are not equal. So it should be not intentional errors. So it should be you should keep in mind. So this type of errors of classical errors you have to main uh, aim is aim in the code inspection is to detect this type of errors. Now finally, uh, what is the document? When we are talking about a coding process, doc documentation is a very important uh, thing because the documentation always plays an important role in the software development process. So when you are talking about the documentation, that means software documentation, uh, they are classified basically to two types. Uh, now what is software documentation? A software documentation includes any written text illustrations that describes the software software documentation is very crucial in the overall software development process now there are what uh, various type of advantages now first advantage uh, there are many advantages let us take some of the advantages the advantage is that uh, it keeps tracks of all parts of the software development program Good documentation increases the understandability of the product, reduces the effort and time required for maintenance, improves overall quality of the software product, helps to handle the manpower turnover problem effectively. So, what is the manpower turnover problem? Suppose you have developed a particular software, you are under development of a particular software, your members are five software programmers are doing. Uh, during the in the meantime suppose one or two programmers left then you have to recruit another people in place of them and if you maintain proper documentation then they can start right from the beginning of the right from the beginning means right at the time of they left the part of the whatever the development is over from that point of that point onwards the development can be started so documentation plays a very important role so this type of problem handling is known as a manpower turnover problem. Now what are the different types of software document? Software documents have different classification, but rather we can classify into two main categories. The first one is internal documentation. Second one is external documentation. So internal documentation actually means the comment which you are which the programmer writes inside the code. Uh, for example, you see there is a program to 
find out whether the number is given or whether the number is all or even. The program is written in C. Now the comment line you have seen in the picture, that comment line is actually gives an idea why the variables are declared, what is the intention of the program. So this type of documentation is known as the internal documentation. The Excel documentations are those documents which are placed in somewhere else, not inside the code. And those documents are known as external documents, which users are used to understand the different activities of the software development. For example, user manual, your configuration file, installation documentation, design documentation, sense documentation, all these things. So, hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you.